out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists, at least I think you're scientists, and forced to spend all day in some crazy-ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it, but I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked. Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see. I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. Hey, you know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? I mean the present. Now, today. Whatever. You've probably noticed that English has become the official language of the Holy Land. Yeah, I was gonna say. The Animus is translating speech it deems vital into more modern English, so expect a few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but... You ever read Chaucer? Who? Yeah, definitely not for you. Can you tell me more about Abstergo? What goes on here? Beyond the whole keeping me prisoner thing. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's some information on the computer over there. But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't like where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh my god. She has a sense of humor. I'm sorry, Desmond. I've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunication stuff is particularly interesting. Aren't you tired? Can't talk, gotta work. Man, I can't even change my clothes. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. 
<laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are. can create diversions with dead bodies. Soldiers will leave their posts to investigate them, allowing you to enter the area they were guarding. You've done well, Altair. And I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Such wild swings will give your enemy an opening, and send you to an early death.
throwing knives to deal with distant enemies. Where is he going? is best for quickly fending off multiple enemies. Ah! 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 Ah!
brave as you. I'll see to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. for this. to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. The archer who guards the eastern wing. Poor bastard's brother caught an arrow in the throat. Doubt he'll last the night. How can he continue to work, knowing what's to come? He visits his brother often, so I cover for him when I can. You aren't there now? No. My family business of my own to attend to. Then he'd best hope the doctor doesn't learn of his desertion. He won't. Long as you stay silent. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Like 
place is restricted. Be gone! Oh, 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 oh,